Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you another Monster Legends Guides where we talk about a monster, its move sets, its moves, uh, what to pair it up with, what not to pair it up with, uh, runes, and all that jazz. Today we're talking about Ralbog, uh, who is part of the new 72 hour event. Um, I'm sorry I got this video a little posted a little bit late. Uh, I said I'd post it yesterday, but I never got to it. Uh, it's just a bunch of stuff went on. A lot of stuff went wrong. This is actually my third time recording this video. Uh, a lot of stress that I don't want to talk about. And uh, let's just move on about it. Uh, so yeah, new day, new start. Uh, we're going to start something new, something funky fresh. And we are going to talk about Railbog today. Railbog is a phenomenal monster. And quite honestly, he's actually... out of Like the like between him and Sentinel, I actually would settle for this guy. Uh this guy is just all around a really great fire monster, and he's just really good. Um, great, yeah. This guy's like this guy's totally worth it. Get this guy instead of Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel only does one thing alone, and this guy just does a bunch of things, uh, and he does them really well. Uh, so, uh, just to start off right off the bat, this guy is a damage over time character or monster. Uh, so his, and all honestly, like the first thing you need to prioritize with this monster or realize with this monster, he does his damage over time, uh, but he can still do burst damage to you. He, d he still does a good amount of burst. It's not as high as most attackers, but his, his main potential is damage over time and longativity. So you need this guy out as long as possible, uh, to get his damage over time off, uh, to keep, like, to keep refreshing the damage over time. That's, this is this guy's sole purpose, is to do damage over time, and he does it really well. Um, so his power, uh, his power is 3,465. This is an awesome power. Uh, it also helps with his, you know, ability to, uh, produce burst damage. He's really good at that. Uh, it, it, like he, he can burst down between like the damage over the time his like his like uh, mediocre dam or his like medium damage turns into really high damage at some point uh it's just a lot of damage uh and it's really hard to get it's really hard like it's going to be hard for the ai to handle at some point uh because like the like the people like some people don't even run like shields or anything like that they don't run life runes uh, they're running all speed runes, so think of it like this. Uh, as soon as you burn them or bleed them, they're going to have a lot of turn. Like, some sometimes they have, like, two turns in. Or they're going to be taking a lot of damage over time. Uh, and this guy can sponge it up depending on your rune set. Uh, so with life, 30,763. This is a really good life. Uh, it's probably one of the higher lives for fire monsters in the game, uh, and it's a really good life. It's probably one of the higher highest ones. And it's really solid. Uh, speed, 3,344. Okay, so I know this guy's kind of slow. Uh, it's not a lot of slow. It's just slightly slower than Varuna. But he's still a really good... His speed is... His speed's all right. Uh, it, it, it's an okay speed. It's not slow. It's just enough to do his job. Uh, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's... Regardless of that, it's, it's an okay speed. This guy has pretty solid stats over round. He's very well-rounded. Uh, you shall not leave. Deals very heavy fire damage to all enemies. Uh, this is uh, just straight up 70 damage. Uh, nothing else special about it. I actually wish it burned and bleed. That would be really cool. Uh, that was just like instant setup. That would be really cool. Uh, but it doesn't. <laughs> uh, you will also see this guy a lot too in the shop. Uh, like just on the sale for 460. Um, he's... I mean like I, he, those are terrible deals to begin with. But if you really love this guy, I actually I recommend. It's, it's just a really cool monster. Yeah, if you really really like him, he's usually in the shop. Just gonna tell you that right now, he is usually in the shop. But you you honestly want to wait for the two twenty five deals. Those are the best time to get this guy. Uh, so going down to skill groups two, uh, enter the mines. Uh, this deals very heavy. This deals heavy fire damage. Gains twenty percent life shield. Requires cooldown. Now. He does have a sh he does have a move that a uh, thirty percent shield, but it does less damage. Uh, just pick this move. This is a good burst move. Uh, bursts down nature monsters, which are usually really bulky monsters, and this is a nice move to have uh, for those occasions, for those things that can out like to sustain your damage over time. Uh, so you want this. You totally want this. Uh, Black Chasm deals moderate special damage to target. May t make target bleed. Uh, you have to okay. Honestly, run this skill just because it's a zero turn down. Zero turn cooldown move. Uh, it can keep the monsters bleeding. 
it's a good way to refresh the bleed. You totally want this move. It's not a really strong move, but it's it does its purpose. It's you gotta inco- you gotta interpret the ten percent too uh, after you've attacked them too. So it kind of acts like uh, normal like fifty damage or like normal attack damage, attack attacker damage. This is an okay thing to do. Uh, so this is a nice move. Totally run this move. Uh, fiery whips deals moderate fire damage to all enemies. May burn targets. Uh, yeah, this is his AOE burn. Uh, run this skill if you're doing PvP. If you're doing team war, I recommend the all bleed set. Uh, because it's like a I'll, I'll talk about the set as soon as I'm done with the moves. But uh, yeah, we'll get back to that later. Anyway, all you need to know this is his AOE burn. Uh, and it's it's a really good move to have too. <laughs> uh, Mount War Doom's Word. This is his thirty percent shield. Uh, you can run this. You can run both shield moves to increase uh, the amount of time he is out there. But in all honesty, you do want just uh, you just want to enter the mines. It just kind of tampers with his overall damage output if you do both. So just run enter the mines. Don't don't bother running Mount Doom's Word. Uh, Nameless Terror. Uh, this is a single cooldown move with 50 damage uh, so essentially this is just 10 power more with a cooldown uh i'd say run this move for the team war build uh i'll talk about that just a little bit sooner just wait for it uh then we got crossing the bridge deals moderate fire damage to all enemies may make targets bleed requires cooldown uh so yeah you totally want to run the skill okay okay i guess the use the big reveal all right so, as you know, I am a big fan of Monsters That Bleed, and this guy is the master bleeder. Uh, no one can contest this man's ability to bleed people, to make people take damage over time. Uh, and this this is the master master bleeder. He is the best bleeder in the entire game, uh, simply because he has uh, the ability to burn, too. Uh, here's the, okay, here's the thing, though. Uh, with the Team War, this is two different builds, and they're very important builds. Uh, the first one is the Team War build. You want, here's the Team War build. You want Enter the Mines, Black Chasm, Nameless Terror, and Crossing the Bridge. Realize I didn't say Fiery Whips. Every fire, mo- basically most, mostly all the fire monsters in the game, except for like two, I think. I think. I don't know if there's any more than that. You can, you can look that up and see if there's more than, I think the raccoons like immune to days, uh, but there's like there's very few there's most most of the mon- fire monsters in the game that people use are resistant to burning, and this guy can literally like if you do the whole bleed set on like a defending team like if it's defending, uh, the AI the, the AI will totally bleed the enemy throughout. They, there's no chance they'll do the AOE burn on the first turn. Uh, they'll most likely do crossing the bridge, or they'll go right to bleeding. Bleeding is no one's resistant to bleeding in the game. Uh, it's undefined damage over time. Uh, the only r- real way that people are going to avoid d- this damage over time is if they have, like, uh, Lux or something like that. you got to also take a note how many times that's going to be, uh, really. How many people are... G- like, how many war... Si- there's, like, two war... Pretty much two war situations where this will actually happen. Uh, if it's a light requirement and or if it's a legendary included in the war. Uh... So this is all around. This is a really nice move to have. <laughs> uh, this is a nice build set uh, because the AI, like again, like with the uh, AI, it's just they do whatever, and there's a chance that they can do this, and it's not the best move for that situation. Uh, if you do the whole bleed set, uh, it's very highly likely that you'll get your damage over time on the enemy, uh, and that's really important. That is so obscenely important. Uh, just no chance for them to resist the bleeding, and it's just a great thing. Uh, with this set, I'd recommend two life runes and a strength rune. Uh, you don't necessarily need to be faster than the enemy, you just need to be there for a really long time, uh, and just let the burn and poison, uh, burn and bleeding do its work. Uh, now for the other build, this is a more so, like, uh, this is a PvP build, uh, you can do, like, it's pretty much the same, like the room builds pretty much the same, two lives for a strength or a speed. If you want to be slightly faster, I, I just recommend the strength, uh, because there's a lot of things that are going to outpace it anyway, uh, but that's okay, uh, because you got that damage over time, remember, <laughs> and you got other support monsters backing you up. Uh, so with this set, it's basically the same. 
Except for Nameless Terror, you're switching Nameless Terror out for Fiery Whips. That's basically the only difference. Uh, it's good for PvP fights, you can do this. Uh, but in Team Wars, you do want the All Bleed set. Uh, which is really, it's a nearly nice set. Um, if I had to choose between which is more important, uh, if you only have one Railbog, uh, obviously go with the Bleeding set. Uh, just for its undeniable damage over time, you can run, you can do the Fiery Whip, you can add Fiery Whip to the set. Uh, it's just, you're just gonna, there's always gonna be one monster on the enemy team that's gonna be resistant to your burning. Uh, so there is gonna be th that monster, that mon keep in mind, uh, fire monsters tend to be the attackers. So there's one turn where the fire, the, that attacker isn't taking any damage, uh, like any high, like over time damage. So that's kind of suffering. Plus, uh, with bleed, uh, bleed actually decreases power of moves, uh, which makes bleed all the more important. Uh, and especially if you pair this up with something that deals poison too, that's a lot. That's like 40 damage reduction. That's like being like turned into a kid, like from Timeiron's move, like 40%. That's 40%. That's really heavy. Uh, just really heavy stuff. Uh, partners with this guy. Um, you want things that like, again, like anything would really, uh, anything that can keep him out longer, like Bastet. Bastet is this guy's like best friend, like in college. Uh, just simply with the shield providing and the double life, uh, you'll be there for a really long time. If you ever watched one of my videos, I used a team comp with Kalik, uh, Ralbog, and Bashdad. And that is really, I, I just messed up uh, by doing the AoE bleed when time Miron had his loop damage up. Uh, which essentially is the thing that counters you, is if the, the uh, if your opponent is using time Miron and they use loop damage, which is really shitty. But... Uh, that's the again. That's one of the only situations where you are actually boned. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's a good sustain. Uh, so bash dead. Uh, any barrier giving monsters any shields. Shields su is such an important mo uh, thing in Monster Legends. Not many people value it. I pretty much value it, uh, and it's a really good thing to value. Um, uh, for deniers, like really, uh, Kalik. Kalik again. Kalik is the best. Uh, like denier denier in the game simply because you can remove debuffs um there is a time there is sometimes where like i just had the glitch a moment ago where like i do it and then uh the glitch there's a glitch where it doesn't like register the fact that it's frozen i mean like it's still it registers the fact that it's not immune to free, uh, freeze and then just goes with the freeze anyway which is pretty like odd and stupid uh but again, that's not, that's just a, that's not, it doesn't occur, occur too much really, but it's really, it still works. I mean, like, it, it can't, it still works. It's just a glitch that happens, like, random as hell. Uh, it's not too often. It's just very rarely will you see that hop, uh, happen. Uh, so yeah, Kalik, uh, pretty much Kalik, uh, is the best uh, supporter with this uh, guy. Um, you know, stamina removers also work, like, General Thedes works with uh, Elbog, uh, Oh, what else? Um, if you want to just go on full, like, overtime, you could do an overtime team. Uh, poison, burning, uh, bleeding. I think those are the only really damaging overtime things. Uh, plus Ignite, I suppose. That, like, if you paired this guy up, if you also build, uh, paired Relbog up with that uh, VIP monster, I can't remember his name, but he he does a, extra, a, a new form of burning, which is... Uh, 15, it's still 15%, but it's not really burning. It's like advanced uh, possession or something like that. It's like it's like that, pretty much. It's, it's obviously not possession, but you get my drift. It's a different form of burning. Uh, so you can pair it up with that guy if you wanted to. Uh, so yeah, that's really all there is to say about Ralbog. Ralbog is a phenomenal monster. Totally get him in the 72-hour event. He's way better than Sentinel uh, in terms of overall usage. Uh... And that's all I really need. That's all I have to say about uh, that 72-hour challenge. Uh, Raubog just is just too useful a monster not to grab, uh, especially for Team Wars. He's phenomenal in Team Wars. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, this has been Dib the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.